extraterrestrials. It says in Genesis 1.1, in the beginning, the Elohim, look at it up. The God said, come, let us make man in our image, after our likeness. I had a rabbi, a very important rabbi in America many, many years ago, back in the mid-60s, who told me, I asked him about these questions, and he said to me, there is nowhere in the Old Testament, what you call the Jewish Old Testament, there's nowhere in the Old Testament that says God created man. It doesn't say that. That's your religion. Your Christianity says that. That's why we don't have anything to do with Christianity. Because you keep getting things all mixed up and screwed up. We never said God made man. That's not what the scripture says in the Old Testament. It says, if you go back and read it correctly, in what Genesis 1.28, when God is creating Adam and Eve, and it says, and the God said, Genesis 1, 28, Adam and Eve, the scripture says, and God said, come, let us. Who is us? I thought there was only one God. No, no. Come, let us make man. And the Christians say, see, there it is right there. God says, let us make man. No, it doesn't say that. Go back and read it correctly. Come, let us make man in our image after our likeness let's mess with his dna and make him from a neanderthal creature like bigfoot let's make him into a beautiful handsome creature with a brain who can write beautiful music and go to the stars and design televisions and computers let's make man look like us let us make man in our image after our likeness. Us and our means more than one. So the bottom line is, is that we humans today look like the gods who created us. And so when we hear that people have been abducted by UFOs and they tell us, when I was in that UFO, that, that flying saucer thing, whatever it was, that craft was, they look human. Some of them look like little alien creatures, but some of them in charge look like humans. They look like human because you are human and you look like them. They weren't human, but you look like them. Why? Because it says in the scripture, come let us make man in our image after our likeness. So the implication is very obvious. Out there, in the world that's out there in the stars, whoever the, uh, the life forms that are out there, they have come here and they have made the hominid creatures, we call Neanderthal creatures, to look like them. Therefore, that tells you that you look like the gods who are out there. Well, if that's the fact of the matter, according to the Hebrew and the Jewish tradition in the Bible, that means they can come here and take over this world, and you will never, ever suspect what's going on. Why? Because they look like you. Yeah, they look like you. They got beautiful women. You like beautiful women. <laughs> so they look like you. Yeah, they're smart. They drink. They, they, they drive around and fly around in helicopters, and they look like you. So he's like me. And I like to be with him. I like to be in his company because <laughs> he's very smart and very powerful. He's not human. He's never been human. He's come from another world. You don't know who he is, but he buys and sells children and eats people. You have no idea about the blood rituals and sacrifices and rapes that he's involved in. Why? Because he don't care about you. He created you out of another creature called Neanderthal. That's where we come from. We didn't come from a monkey. We, it was not called evolution. It was called intervention. Somebody came here and messed with our DNA and created a creature that looked like the gods who came from out there. We looked like them.
and we're so stupid, we are like them. It says, come let us make man in our image after our likeness. So we are like them. We're as stupid as they are. We're as self-centered and bloodthirsty as they are. We like fighting in the streets and martial arts fighting and beating the flying crap out of each other and busting your face in and killing people and raping children. We are like them. You don't know who they are and you don't want to know. <laughs>